Prime Minister, Lee Shin Long and Malaysian Prime Minister, Anwar Ibrahim, concluded a substantive two-day leaders' retreat on Monday. The two countries reached agreements in several fields, including SME development, intellectual property rights and tackling cross-border crime. Here are 10 key takeaways from the 10th Singapore-Malaysia Leaders' Retreat. A fund to encourage businesses from Singapore and Malaysia to invest in third countries was updated to support firms that want to conduct joint pilots in each other's countries, especially in emerging areas such as the green economy and digital economy. In a joint statement, both Prime Ministers also took note of the Memorandum of Understanding MOU between Trade Agency Enterprise Singapore and SME Corporation Malaysia to collaborate in developing small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs from both sides. The leaders also welcomed the progress made on the MOU on personal data protection, cyber security and digital economy signed in January. The two countries are working to ink an agreement on January 11, 2024, that will usher in the next stage of the Johor Singapore Special Economic Zone. The zone will improve the flow of goods and people between both sides of the causeway and enhance the ecosystem of the Iskanda Development Region and Singapore. The leaders also welcomed the progress made by the respective industrial cooperation, immigration, transportation links, innovation, tourism and environment work groups under the Joint Ministerial Committee for Esconda Malaysia. Both leaders welcomed the good progress in construction of the RTS link and expressed confidence that the rail service will be operational by end 2026. A ceremony will be held in early 2024 to commemorate the completion of the drop-in span that will connect both sides of the RTS Links Marine Viaduct. When it is ready, the service can carry 10,000 passengers an hour in each direction. Singapore and Malaysia agreed to review the delegation arrangements for the provision of air traffic services over Southern Peninsula Malaysia that were recommended and approved by the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO in 1973 and implemented through the operational letter of agreement between Kuala Lumpur and Singapore Area Control Centers concerning Singapore arrivals, departures and overflights 1974. This review will be in line with ICAO's requirements for safe and efficient air traffic management and accommodate both countries' current and future operational needs. Both PM Lee and Datuk Seri Anwar tasked their respective transport ministers to deliberate and agree on a set of principles and outcomes for both civil aviation authorities to move forward as expeditiously as possible. A joint meeting between leaders from Singapore and Malaysia will be convened to resolve outstanding bilateral maritime boundary delimitation issues and implement the International Court of Justice's judgment on Pedra Branca, Middle Rocks and South Latch. The leaders also noted the good progress made at the first meeting in June of the Technical Working Group on the agreement between both governments to delimit precisely their territorial waters boundary. They look forward to the convening of a second meeting. The Prime Ministers agreed that both countries will resume discussions on the prices of raw and treated water, without prejudice to each other's long-declared positions on the right to review prices under the 1962 Johor River Water Agreement. They also agreed to resume discussions on ways to safeguard water quality and increase the yield of the Johor River to ensure a sustainable supply that meets the 1962 agreement. Underscoring the importance of close defense cooperation, both sides agreed to continue contributing to regional security through exchanges at various multilateral forums. They agreed to continue working together against illicit trafficking of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances, and to work towards an MOU to jointly tackle transnational crimes. An inaugural agreement on IP cooperation was signed between the Intellectual Property Office of Singapore and the Intellectual Property Corporation of Malaysia. The agreement includes patent-related programs 
to better support innovators and businesses seeking to enter both markets. Students and faculty in higher education in both countries may soon enjoy more exchanges as an agreement is in the works between Singapore's Education Ministry and Malaysia's Ministry of Higher Education. The MOU will also promote the sharing of information and experiences in technical and vocational education and training, as well as training programs for administrators and academic staff. With the Causeway celebrating its centennial anniversary in 2024, it was officially opened on June 28, 1924. Both Singapore and Malaysia are set to mark the milestone with a series of joint events performances and showcases.